What is it, friend? Dance? Ready to continue our mission, soldier? Ready. Roger that. Don't worry, boy. I'll make sure this soldier comes home alive. If you have a moment, I have something personal I'd like to discuss. Sounds important. Go ahead. It is important, but I don't even know where to begin. There's so much I wanted to say. Take it easy, Dance. Whatever it is, I'll help you work through it. I don't know if anything will help me work through it. I've spent my entire life, or at least what I perceive as my life, following a plan to shape my own future. But since my banishment, I feel lost. Almost like I exist without purpose. For the first time since that moment I signed up with the Brotherhood, I don't have all the answers. I don't have a plan, and it scares the hell out of me. It's impossible to plan your life. <laughs> hell, I didn't expect to wake up 200 years into the future. Yet you've been able to roll with every punch that's been thrown at you. Don't you understand? Everything I had, everything I knew is gone. In the span of a few hours, my identity was ripped from me and my world turned upside down. At least what you had was something tangible, something real. Your wife, your son, they were living, breathing humans who loved you and cared for you. Those sons of bitches who created me couldn't even be bothered to implant memories of having siblings or parents. I don't even know how much of my own past is artificial and how much is real. Can you even imagine that? I started out as nothing. And I've ended up as nothing. And I don't know what the hell to do about it. I'm truly sorry, Dance. I guess I never realized how deeply this affected you. I appreciate that. I suppose you're right. Maybe I'm just missing the point. My life's starting over. And I need to come to terms with everything I've lost and everything I've gained, which includes something important you've made me realize. I don't know if it's friendship or an anomaly in my programming. After all, I'm not really human, but whatever it is, I can't deny that I'm feeling closer to you than anyone else I've ever met. As far as I'm concerned, you're like a brother to me. The best of friends. And I'll do everything I can to live up to it. Look, I know that this has been difficult for you. In fact, I don't envy some of the recent decisions you've had to make. If our roles had been reversed, I'm not so sure I could have handled it as well as you did. Whatever the case may be, I just want to thank you for sticking by me and remind you that what I said before still stands. If you need me, I'll be here for you. Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of my 100% walkthrough of Fallout 4. I hope you're all doing well. I know that I am. And today, we are going to be taking down the Institute and finishing up the base game of Fallout 4. But before we do... Let's go ahead and put in a couple levels. We're going to put two into strength and then we will be done because our last bobblehead is going to be the uh, strength bobblehead. And then I'm going to flip flop between endurance and medic. I'm not sure what I'll do after uh, endurance and medic are done. Maybe luck. Uh, I don't know. Maybe luck. Uh, if anything, I'll probably get Aqua Boy or something else. We'll see. All right, now that that's been done, let's go ahead and go all the way over to the castle. We got to go defend it. Jackson ensured I was well built for travel. Glad His modifications will be adequate for quite some time. Hi. Glad you made it in time, General. I guess we're about to find out if these new Minutemen really have what it takes. We've seen a lot of those Institute crow things sniffing around. Looks like they're getting ready to try to take us out. We've called in volunteers, so we aren't short of people. 
We'll see how these greenhorns do in a real battle. I'm feeling pretty good about our defenses, but it sure wouldn't hurt for you to take a look around and uh, shore up any weak points you see. This is Radio Freedom with a breaking report from the castle. Let's go over here. I haven't done much to the castle. I have built up inside a bit, but out here, I haven't done much. Here comes the synths. I think that's dog meat over there. Poor dog meat. I'm done being scared of the institute. You must be terminated. Critical arm wound sustained. Critical failure. Just gonna walk around and take out any synths that you can see. Well, it looks like they're all over there. We're at forty percent. Coursers. Coursers are the worst. Every time I run to the opposite direction thinking that they're going to be over there, they spawn at a different spot. and their fucking stealth boys. Super annoying. Figure you won't just run, right? <coughs> Jesus. Just keep coming. Ooh, 
Ooh, that was close. I was not paying attention to my health. <coughs> that was super close. <coughs> Alright, let's run across here. I, I can't see this fucking courser. There he is. Engaging. <coughs> we can handle anything the Institute throws at us. Where's that fucking courser? <coughs> Die, good sir. <coughs> Man, they are messing me up. I didn't think about it, but I probably should have put some turrets aiming inside here. That would have helped. No, you're not going to run away. Asshole. Yeah. Die. No one panic. It's good to talk to Ronnie Shaw. By the way, if you're trying to do all of the endings um i would do a hard save before doing this because you're gonna fail the railroad and the brotherhood of steel's quest there's ronnie shaw what the hell hi i guess the institute will think twice before tangling with the minutemen again i hear you're working on figuring out how to hit back at those rats i hope you find a way and soon i'd like another crack at them with the shoe on the other foot this time. I think Preston wanted to talk to you. Maybe he has some good news. Go talk to Preston. That's probably way over there. It's time for us to strike back against the Institute. I have some good news for you. Sturgis found a way into the Institute. We can launch an attack whenever you say the word. Good. I'll get the details from Sturgis while you get the Minutemen ready to attack. Yes, sir. Let's go to Sanctuary and talk to Sturgis. I'll see everybody over there. Hey, boss. I've been hoping you'd stop by. I found you a way into the Institute. That's great news. I was kind of hoping there'd be something worth all the time I spent cracking their encryption. <laughs> Turns out there was. One of the things in the data you stole was a plan of the whole Institute complex, <laughs> including the older sections that used to be part of CIT. Turns out they're still using an old water pipe that runs out to the river. Brings in cooling water to their reactor. Its entrance is underwater and is blocked by a security grate. Also, the whole pipe is labeled high radiation danger, but there isn't any other way in that I can find. So it's this or nothing. Good work, Sturgis. Thanks, boss. I wish there was a better way. But if there is, it's not in this data. I did manage to pull the code to open the grate. So all you have to do is survive the trip. Now, as soon as you get in there, you need to access the main relay control and use this holotape to teleport everybody into the Institute. Let's go ahead and go into our pit boy And we're going to go over to the CIT runes. Go ahead and turn around. I'm going to go down this road. Take out a mire lurk. There should be one or two more over here. We're going to sneak past them because there's some raiders that are all over there. If you want to go kill those raiders, totally understandable. I'm just going to do my best to sneak around.
Thankfully, it's during the day, and I don't need to use my Pip-Boy light. Makes it a little easier to sneak. Although, there's one walking right towards us. Yeah, he's seen us. Oh, well. We're still going to sneak and go behind here. I am not going to bother fighting them. It's not worth my time. Where'd that little fucker go? Right here we have a turret. Take that out. And then right over this railing is the pipe that he was talking about. Let's go ahead and put some Radex on and then turn on our Pip-Boy. Swim down into the pipe. <laughs> go ahead and use that keypad, open up the grate. Over here, you can hack this terminal to get a steamer trunk and some junk or loot. like to walk on the edge of this pipe the way I'm not standing in the water and getting irradiated lots of junk to loot out that mole rat take out that ghoul want to be careful there's going to be uh, quite a few ghouls over here one's going to drop down from over here too they're just going to be spawning behind us as well so keep that in mind try not to get too distracted with everything in front of you and then what do I do get it distracted by everything in front of me dog meat. I'll help you up, bud. It's probably my fault anyways. We're gonna come down this way and then right around this corner is a turret. area at once is recommended. Fine. Turn on our pit boy light again. Down there, if you can't hack this terminal, 
you can go down that way. There will be a couple of scents that you got to kill. Nothing uh, too big of a deal. But it's only an expert terminal, so let's go ahead and hack it. Let's go ahead and loot a couple things. Didn't want the institute pistol, but whatever. We'll take it. And then if you took the alternate way, you would come through this door and then into here. Let's go inside here. We're going to go into this terminal. We're going to load hollow tape and then we're going to load the institute relay targeting sequence. Go to initiate remote relay sequence. It'll take it a moment. Now we can exit out of here. Eject the hollow tape. Man, that was something else. I guess I'm still in one piece. Everybody else made it? Good. So this is the Institute. They could have just held out down here forever. Why'd they need to come mess with us? They think they're better than us. They should have read their history. That hasn't ever turned out well. In any case, here we are. No turning back now. You're gonna need this. It's a fusion pulse charge. Once it's attached to the reactor, it can be detonated remotely. You get that on the reactor, and we can trigger an explosion that'll destroy everything the Institute has ever built. Just make sure we give the civilians a chance to escape before we blow the place. We're not here to commit mass murder. We better hurry. They're gonna realize what's going on before too long. Sturgis. You'd better get to work on this teleporter of theirs. We need that thing running as soon as possible. You pull us back up as soon as we give the signal. And anyone from the Institute who wants out, you let them go, so long as they ain't shooting at you. You got it, boss. Scoop up some goodies here. Take out the Who's turret. <laughs> Here we go. I have sustained a terrible wound. Perception. They're all over me. I had no choice. What was that? Damn it. Where'd you <laughs> go? Turrets across the way. Beans. This time. Down there, take out the sentry bot. Keep our health topped off. So easy to die down here. Oh. 
Be careful not to shoot any of the scientists. If you shoot him, it's not that big of a deal, but... You know. Try to keep him alive. Over here, be sure to grab the synthetic gorilla meat. You can use it in your base or your settlement to make a gorilla head. Systems damaged. Institute sent. <coughs> All right. Still in one piece. I didn't do that. Somebody else did that. <laughs> Take out this courser first. I can't Engaging see. target. Targeting sensors fully. Fucking courser, man. He just doesn't want to die. I am under attack. Sustained. Assessing damage. Losses multiplying. I'm hurt. Bad. I am the victim. Shouldn't tangle with the Minutemen. <coughs> I am it. Your termination is inevitable. Are you shutting <coughs> down? Be warned. I cannot help. <coughs> The scientist is really dumb. Hey there, General. Found the reactor. Looks like you need to get yourself to the advanced systems area. Only, well, it's locked. I can't override it from here. Looks like the command can only come from the director's personal terminal. You're gonna need to get access to it somehow. Let's take this elevator down. We're going to go meet up with Sean. I didn't expect to see you again. Come to see the reactor, have you? Scary. We got it working without you. There's no going back, Sean. The Institute has to be stopped. And you've decided this for yourself? Or has it been fed to you by the corrupt societies above ground? It's not enough that I lay here dying. Now you plan on what? Destroying everything? Tell me then. Under what righteous pretense have you justified this atrocity? There's no other way. The Institute can't be trusted. But these Minutemen, they can. Well, none of it matters now, I suppose. You'll accomplish your task and ruin humanity's best hope for the future. The only question left then is why you're standing here. Is it regret? Or did you just come to gloat? Sean, if you help me, fewer people will die. Will you? Why would I ever consider helping you? Help me. 
And I promise I'll protect any survivors to the best of my ability. Very well. The terminal behind me. Enter access code 9003. That will disable some of the synths. Now go. Just leave me. So he gave us the code to be able to disable some of the synths. That way uh, it will be a little easier. We want to grab his terminal password so that we can get into the terminal here. First thing we're going to do is engage the evacuation protocol B BD2. And then uh, override the lockdown. And then go ahead and shut down some of the synths. Looks like that's opened things up enough for you to reach the reactor. Some other good news. I've almost got the teleporter working. Should be ready to pull you out whenever you need. Let's go ahead and put that level in real quick so I don't forget it. We'll put it into endurance and then next we'll go and put one into medic. Free XP there. What? Ah. Is someone present? Oh my god. Well, that person's just dumb. Some of these NPCs are just absolutely stupid. This must be the reactor. We'll cover you while you plant the charge. We only get one shot at this, remember? Good luck. This must be the reactor. We'll cover you while you plant the charge. We only get I think I got something over here. Preston's just bugging out there. Be careful for the turrets here. There's three of them. Hostile sensor reading detected. I like to take that guy out first. He's got a rocket launcher. Really don't want to mess with him in the open. <laughs> Easy way to die. This is the hardest part of the section just because it's enclosed in very tight quarters. Take some Radex. We're gonna need it when we get over by the reactor. I've lost visual contact. There you are. Come on! That's the best you've got! <coughs> you are damaging the <coughs> Pretty sure that this guy is always a legendary when you come in here, but don't quote me on that one. Because I could be wrong. Let's get this done, General. It's uncanny. They're not robots. Not exactly human either. We need to get out of here and fast before they figure out what we've done. Sturgis, you reading me? We're done down here. Zap us back to the relay room. All right, Sturgis, we're done. Get us the hell out of here. Yeah, I would, man. 
But, uh, this kid showed up. Says he's the general's son. Attention all personnel. Evacuation... Please, Dad! Don't leave me here! I want to go with you! All right. You can come with me. Really? Do you mean it? Yes, I mean it. Now, let's get out of here. I'm glad you are here to save me. Let's get out of here. All right, Sturgis. Fire it up. Didn't leave anything behind, did you? All set to get out of here? Absolutely. Let's get the hell out of here. You got it. I'm gonna teleport you to the detonation site. Then set it to shoot the kid here back to the castle. Now you press that button extra hard when you get there. I'll see you on the other side. I'm ready. Let's get out of here. Sturgis figured this was a safe distance outside the blast radius. Whenever you want to see humanity's best hope for the future go up in smoke, just hit that button. All right, everybody, let's press the big red button and watch the Institute go up in flames. over me. The heat, the force, the radiation, the fear. It's the end of the world all over again. I close my eyes. I see my life before all of this, before the bombs. Everything can change in an instant, and the future you plan for yourself shifts whether or not you're ready. At some point, it happens to all of us. This wasn't the world I wanted, but it was the one I found myself in. The Commonwealth. My home. Ripped apart and put back together. I thought, I hoped, I could find my family, cheat time, make us whole again. The way we were. Now I know. I know I can't go back. I know the world has changed. That the road ahead will be hard. This time, I'm ready. Because I know war. War never changes. I cleared out that spot you sent me to and set up a radio beacon there. That's great news. Once folks have some place to call their own, they'll be willing to help defend it. As usual, I have something else for you to look into. I'll mark it on your map. Go find out what they need. We could use more settlements supporting our cause. We make a hell of a team. Remember that settlement that was asking for help? All safe and sound again. Good. This is how we're going to take back the Commonwealth. One small victory at a time. But our work is never done. It's what we signed up for. I'll mark it on your map. We can use all the support we can get. So see what you can do to help. Hey there. Holy shit. That was one hell of a bang, wasn't it? So that's it. The Institute is destroyed. It's finally over. You did issue the evacuation order, right? I didn't notice in all the chaos. Yeah. We gave everyone a chance to get out. Good. I thought so. It was just... watching that explosion. I just hope as many people as possible got out. I hate that we had to do that. But they left us no choice. It was war. But now... the war against the Institute... is over. The way is now clear for the Commonwealth to finally come together 
and build something good for the future. But it's not all sunshine and rainbows from here on out. The Institute wasn't the Commonwealth's only problem. We've still got plenty to do. I couldn't have said it better myself, General. The Institute was the most insidious threat we've ever faced. They kept the Commonwealth divided for centuries. But there are plenty of other problems left to deal with. I don't think the Minutemen are going to be out of a job for a long time yet. As much as I might wish it. We deserve to enjoy our victory. But soon enough, it's going to be time to get back to work. The Institute should have just kept to themselves down there. Let's go ahead and put one into Medic. Underground paradise. That was really weird with um, Preston take or er, completing the quests that I did for settlements before the main quest. I don't know. That was really weird. Let's go ahead and grab the mass fusion executive ID. Key card. That'll come in handy. If you want to get the lab password, you can. I'll just pick it up for funsies. It just allows you to go into that terminal over there without hacking it. Let's go ahead and listen to this holotape. Calm down, Noel. You knew that this was coming. I don't understand why you're acting this way. Don't tell me to calm down, Carl. When we started designing the beryllium agitator, you said it would be for the benefit of mankind. Instead, I find out that you have been planning on turning it over to the military all along. You lied to me. Don't give me that high and mighty attitude. Have you picked up a newspaper lately? There's a war going on out there, Doctor. And if our side's going to win, it needs all the help it can get. I can't believe what I'm hearing. Since when did science start taking sides? What did they promise you, Carl? Money? Political favors? A goddamn medal? That's enough! Like it or not, when the testing cycle is completed, I'm crating up the agitator and sending it off to Washington. Now, you have two choices. Either you can get back to work, or you can get the hell out of my building. So make sure that you grab the ID card. That way we can use this elevator. Going down. We're going to crouch. There's going to be a ton of gunners that we're going to be dealing with soon. Coming in here to grab our last bobblehead and our last magazine. And then after that, we have every bobblehead, every magazine, and every hollow tape. At least as far as I know, it's every hollow tape. I might have missed like one or two, but I mean, they're everywhere. So I did my best. Lobby. Oh, I know I definitely missed one because it was glitched out and that was in Gunner's Plaza. That wasn't on me. That that was because it's just glitched. We're going to come over here to this elevator. Going down. We're going to take it up. Even though it says it, it's Lobby. going down when we take it up. Lobby. It is going up. Going down. We're going to come over here, kill that gunner over there with the power armor. And then right here, we're going to grab the strength bobblehead. Bingo. It's going to give us the trophy. They're action figures. 
Over there's some loot where that gunner was. If you want to grab a steamer trunk and uh, loot the gunner. Not really worried about it. Going up again, even though it says going down. Weird elevators. I'm going to go straight here. Come up here. Go around this way. And then right over here is our last magazine. Yes. Unfortunately, for getting all the magazines, you don't get a trophy, which kind of baffles me because you would think getting all the magazines is a lot harder than the bobbleheads because there's a ton of them. Just gonna backtrack a little bit here. Take the elevator back down. And then we're gonna fast travel to Sanctuary and end the video. Going down. Now we're going down. Fifth floor. Careful not to fall. I have done that a couple of times and I had to find my way back up here. Let's go ahead and exit to the Commonwealth. Then we're going to come over to Sanctuary and I'll see everybody over there. Alrighty, everyone. This is where we're going to end the video. I want to start by telling you all thank you so very much for stopping by. It really does mean a lot to me. Hopefully you all enjoyed the video. If you did, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe or don't. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. And like always, everybody, have a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good night, whatever time it may be in your part of the world. Mr. John Wayne, signing off.